Vale Dory, just in front of Finer City through the opening bounds of the race. Stellar Wind on the inside. Smith backing off on Finest City and Espinosa slices between the pair and ranges up on the outside to fire an early salvo at the 7 8 pole and Vale Dory in front. Gets away again by a length. Stellar Wind in stalking mode a second and Finest City to the surprise of several I imagine is back last of the three onto the back stretch where it's Vale Dory just in the front of Stellar Wind who moves up within a head two lengths to Finest City. The triumvirate of elite mares makes the run along the Santa Anita back stretch and Vale Dory holds the lead a half length, pursued by Stellar Wind and Finest City. The minor place getters last year behind the mighty mare for whom this race has been renamed. They're at the half mile and the lead belongs to Vale Dory and neck to Stellar Wind and two lengths to Finest City. Vale Dory into the far turn by a neck with Stella Wind, she's been stalking in predatory fashion, moves within a head midway around the far turn, Finest City two and a half lengths away, Vale Dory clinging to the most narrow of leads, Stella Wind is right up alongside of her as they swing for home, three clear of Finest City, it's Vale Dory on the inside and Stella Wind stride for stride past the 316's pole, Vale Dory, Stella Wind with steely determination on the outside, Vale Dory straining every sinew to keep her streak alive, Stella Wind comes at her powerfully now, Stella Wind with the nose in front of Vale Dory and Stella Wind over Vale Dory in the thrilling behold a mile. Finest City never a 